All of the grades that you see attributed to the prospects in this video will be coming directly from our football game plan scouting prospect rankings videos where you can check out all 532 prospect rankings on our website at footballgameplan.com slash FBGP scouting. The Atlanta Falcons made it to the Super Bowl last year and were looking to improve a defense that was inconsistent at times last season. When you look at the prospects like Tack McKinley out of UCLA and Duke Raleigh out of LSU, you can see one point of emphasis was to increase the speed and athleticism at the second level. Running back Brian Hill out of Wyoming looks like the perfect complement to Devonta Freeman and has that ability to close out games late in the fourth quarter. I really like the Demonte KZ selection out of San Diego State. I'm always gonna take a chance on the defensive back that can take the ball away and whether or not he plays corner or safety, KZ is one of the best in the nation at doing so. Tight end Eric Salbert out of Drake was another great selection by the Falcons. Salbert is coming off an excellent collegiate career and showcased his ability to play in line throughout the course of the week at the East West Shrine game. The Falcons really cleaned up in the undrafted free agent department. Quarterback Alec Torgerson out of the University of Pennsylvania was one of my favorite prospects to watch both live and on film. He has the velocity to beat tight coverage and was the best quarterback at the Shrine game this year. In my opinion, he's already their second best quarterback on the roster and should be groomed to be Matt Ryan's heir apparent. Taylor Reynolds was a football game plan preseason FCS All-American. He's cut from the same cloth as Demonte KZ, a terrific off-corner that has excellent instincts, quicks, and ball skills. Center Cam Keezer out of Portland State can play either center or guard, and with his athleticism and ability to get movement in the running game, he'll provide good depth up front for the Falcons. I thought Darius English out of South Carolina was steady all week long at the East-West Shrine game. People looked at his weight and assumed he was just a speed rusher, but he's a guy that's functionally strong and does a great job in playing the run and also setting the edge. Tyler Renew was a lead dog in the Citadel's triple option attack. He's a natural runner and could surprise in training camp. I like fullbacks that have the ability to tote the rock, and Renew can definitely do that. Kristen Tago out of San Jose State was a tremendous linebacker during the 2015 season. Dealt with some injuries this past year, but he's a guy I think can step in, provide depth, and also excel on special teams. Andres Knapp out of UConn was a CFL draft prospect as well. He's an older prospect at 25 years old, but still has some upside left to his game. And like Cam Keezer, Knapp has a chance to at least provide good depth up front. I gave the Falcons a B-plus for their draft. They added good depth on the edge and at linebacker, along with grabbing one of the best ball hawks in the draft in Demonte KZ. I also like the way they racked up good undrafted free agent talent as well. Quarterback Alec Torgerson will light up the preseason.